Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. We're here at 2013 Interbike having an absolute blast. So one of the things that we're talking with right now is Kuwat. They have an amazing rack system. I don't know if you've seen them out there at the bike shows or at the bike races or anything like that, but I have. They really caught my attention because of the detail that they put into their rack system. So I wanted to stop by their booth and kind of show you everything that they've got going. So check this out. Tom's going to take us through the product step by step. If you have any questions, once again, always remember, put the comments below, Tom will get back to you, he'll answer them for you. So, let's get going. Tom, walk us through this amazing product. Definitely. Well, this is our Envy and Envy add-on. It's a four-bike carrier. Uh, it comes in a two-inch uh, model. The, the rack is designed to carry, let's see, four 40-pound bikes and um, up to a 48-inch wheelbase. Wow. Now, the Envy stands out because, one thing, the work stand on the outside. Now, this is designed for great trail or roadside maintenance comes up out of the rack you can easily hang your bike onto it um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing down and show a couple other features so Tom as you're doing that talk to me a little bit about uh, fat bikes will they fit on this sure, how so well do they ride so the Envy will hold a fat bike um, the way they're loaded is the front ratchet arm comes up Let's ride right down over the front wheel close to the front fork and then the rear tire sits on the tray. Now, in order to handle a fab bike, you will have to add the extension to the back, but that's the only thing you're gonna have to do with this rack. Um, this one's fully equipped with security, comes with the locking hitch pin as well as two cables that come out of the opposing arms to uh, lock your bikes. Give you a little bit of visible security for your bikes. Mm -hmm. So let me, uh, I'm gonna give you back the mic for yeah. a second. So the one thing I liked a lot about when I was watching this is if you look at like the Thule rack and stuff like that, you're always getting shit caught down in here, you know, because of all the dirt, things to that nature. This is really open. They've done a great, great job on that in my opinion. I also like the, uh, the just kind of how the, the wheel sits in here, but it's not, you know, when you go to clamp it down, you're not getting it too tight down to the, uh, the actual platform. It's got a good ride there. And uh, the biggest feature I loved the most about this rack was the, the ability to be able to work on your bike or what you needed to mm. uh, once the rack was up. I've not used the rack yet, but one thing I was told, and Tom can answer this is, is that when you put it in your actual hitch, it's a way that it can be tightened in there so the damn thing's not back there rattling all the time. Is that mm. true? Definitely, yeah. It's our ball cam system. It's a tool-free process to tighten down the rack inside of the receiver. It gives it a really welded-like feel. Yeah, it makes it a lot more rigid. Oh, and, definitely. Uh, that way your bikes are, you know, I don't know, not, not that I've had any problems, but a little more secure. Sure. And uh, you kind of get that security factor. I also like the bigger uh, way that they've done this right here. Um, I don't know what they call this little unit here, but it's nice that they've got the little segment here for the tire to fit in and for your bigger tires to go around. So it clamps really nice, real clean. And <clears throat> I haven't used the rack once again, but uh, this system here I hope works a lot better Sometimes on the Thule rack, if you do not make sure that that is released, this will be loose and you will have a problem with this uh, actual system. So this is a lot cleaner. I don't know what it's like in the dirt, so we will find that out eventually of uh, the wear and tear when the dust gets in this and how much you use it back and forth. So um, Tom, can you speak to that? How does that work in the dirt and all sure, the different definitely. things like that? Well, the, the process is the, the ratchet arm has a system inside here, yeah. of course, a num number of teeth that it uh, glides against. As far as durability uh, it's been very durable um, if any issues do occur it's a very maintenanceable part um, right. it's something that is easily disassembled um, maintenance cleaned and then installed I any issues though uh, we QOUT has a no worries warranty policy uh, we pride ourselves on that customer service and we will always stand behind our racks so you gotta love that even an issue with that it's we're gonna help you out nice we're take care of it nice great mm -hmm. That's really cool, and I think that's important to all of us out there that, uh, you know, great companies stand behind great products. Mm. So now, if I want two bikes, how easy is it just to take this apart, throw two on there, yet if I want the four, put that back on? Sure, it, it's definitely a process that can be done. It's not a quick release system, so it is something that's going to take a little bit of time. Can you make it that way? Let's get that done, Tom. <laughs> Seriously. It'd be a great system. I would love to have that. Yeah. Uh, now, the rack does start as a two-bike rack. It does, So yeah. you can always add that add-on later. But most people, when they install the extra two bikes on the outside, they leave it the way it is. Yeah, I do, mm -hmm. but sometimes it would be really handy because sure. of, you know, like the car, like I run a Subaru, things like that. It's just mm -hmm. nicer to have 
you know, that lower end, instead of having it always so high, Definitely. even though it works the way it does really mm -hmm. well. So in the future, there's one thing feedback wise, <laughs> if you could make that to where there was a pin that just slid in, you could be able yep. to hook that, pull that back, easily disassemble, that'd be sweet. Same sure. problem on the other racks, as if all of us know that have the four, yep. four rack system. Um, so they've got this type of rack, which works really well in the hitch. They've also got a new rack that they just came out with, and I want to kind of move over there, Tom. Sure, Is that cool? yeah, go to the roof. Let's go to that. Mm. Let's head to the roof. So right now, this is the new bad boy that's out there, sure. and let's talk about what makes this unique and okay, what's, uh, what's really well, cool about it. this is our uh, new roof rack. This is called the Trio. Now, the Trio stands out in the way that it will handle a 9mm quick-release skewer, uh, as well as a 15 through axle and a 20 uh, right out of the box. The integration or the change from that 9mm to the 15 is also really, really simple. I'm, I'd be happy to show that if you yeah, want. Yeah, no, absolutely. Let's show these guys right. how this works. You want me to hold the mic or sure, can you Sure, I'll do? hand the mic over to you. All right, got it. So right now it's set up for just a standard 9mm you know, fork. To go to that 15, take the end off, slide it out. Now, 15 through axle, you're ready to rock and roll. The rack comes with the 20mm. Yep. This one's easily removed. This one goes in, now you're ready to go. So we named it the Trio because it will hold all three different types there. Yeah, that, that's so important when you're, uh, when you're hauling bikes, the ease and the, uh, you know, in that kind of a system. Now, do these have locks on them or how do you lock your bike Sure, down? now the rack does have some security. For the mounting hardware, we used a security bolt up front, so it's not a common um, bolt that you can use a tool to take off. As far as security for the rack, or for the bike, excuse me, we have a cable actually that comes out of the rear of the rack and you're able to wrap the frame and the back tire or the back wheel. I can easily show you right here on the bike. Yeah, in the corner. let's do that for sure. So the cable comes out of the back of the, out of the, back of the rack and now you can lock both components on top. Stows back in with a magnet. Uh, it's a really nice magnet so it holds the rack or the cable really firm inside the rack. One thing you notice with these guys too is everything, uh, I don't know if you've really looked at all their parts, stuff like that, but very uh, good machining detail. Uh, you know, they've done a great job in everything that they're doing. There's no corners that they cut on this. So if you're running a nice rig like a lot of us are, it, it, I think it enhances the look of your vehicle. It doesn't take away from it or you're not going, well, I'm putting this okay looking thing on a $50,000 Audi. You know, you're putting something that is it looks like it's a fifty thousand dollar product that was meant for that I, and i think that's a great thing and i i mean i don't know that people take as much time and pride in that as they possibly can but mm -hmm. these guys most definitely have done that so i like that a lot sure. um what else you got well in addition i know i keep walking around You're good. <laughs> dragging you guys all over the booth, all right but one thing new that we are coming out with uh, of course in addition to the trio it's an accessory uh, you asked about fat bikes earlier. Absolutely. Um, on the Envy. Well, we also carry, or we will have, an accessory for the Trio that will handle fat bikes, both 9mm and 15. Nice. Uh, they come with the strap extension for the Very rear wheel. Cool. So if, if you have all those bikes, which most of us have several, yeah. uh, this rack will handle everything you've got. Very cool. Now, are these your crossbars or what crossbars are we using? Now, the, the mounting system is very universal, so it'll work with almost anything out there. You know, yeah. any aftermarket, uh, most factory bars. It okay. may have an issue with something that's really thick, okay. but for the 90, most part, ninety percent of the stuff out there, you'll have no problem. And do you guys have a bar set that you sell? We do not have a okay. bar set we sell. All right, yeah, good. So you will need a, a base rack on your vehicle. All right, awesome. So, two things you've got here: a roof rack. Uh, do you have a full-on roof rack where they can keep it on there, just like the four place? We don't. Or just the, uh, yep. This is the uh, this, this is the is only it. one we on have. top. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's good to know. So, if they want to find your product, they can find it at. Well, uh, kuatracks.com. Uh, we're also available in dealers all over the U.S., so local bike shops will most likely have our products. Yeah. But yeah, check us out. We've got some great videos on there as well. Uh, describe the products that we carry, and you can always give us a call, too. Yeah, awesome. So thank you, Tom, for doing that. You're welcome. Everybody out there, if you have questions, once again, Tom will be on there. We're going to send him the link to this video. Yeah, ask the questions. If you don't ask the question, you're not going to get the answer. I think they make a great quality product. I'm glad we're able to stop here today, talk to them a little bit. And the most important thing out there is be safe, keep cycling strong. We'll be bringing you more videos from Interbike 2013. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.